Alright, so in this arena run, I decided to show off the power of the Stork. The Stork is probably one of the more underutilized summon units because it's kind of weird. What it does is it summons something from the previous shop tier as a summon. So on like tier 2, you'd summon a tier 1. On tier 3, you summon a tier 4. And of course, on tier 6, you're going to summon a tier 5. Now this means you can build a custom pack around the Stork, which is what I've done here. And you can implement all the tier 5s that you think could possibly help you as far as a summon. And those can include a lot of good things. For example, Scorpion. You can spawn a Scorpion. You can spawn a Eagle, which would spawn a tier 6. And you can spawn like a Lionfish as well. There's also other random ones like Rhino that are pretty interesting. So there's just overall, like stacking the deck with these good tier 5s is just pretty fun to do. And you can see, uh, since I know I'm going for this Stork run, I end up rolling a, a lot on these early tiers on turns 3 and 4. Well, okay, maybe not this run. <laughs> I don't remember exactly what I did this run, but instead uh, I went with the Frill Dragon start. Also just a really strong start. I think possibly actually just like the best possible start if you want to win the early rounds are to go with Frill Dragon and like Ant. And then you can go with like Flamingo, Spider, there's just so many good options and it gives you insane stats. So normally I would probably take those Flamingos but since I'm going for these Stork runs I decide to roll and I get rewarded. I got two Storks already and it's looking pretty nice. Also have this Blobfish, I can immediately get a level 2 Stork. So during the runs I was kind of experimenting with a few different ways to do this. Uh, and. There were some runs where I went with like a white tiger that just immediately makes a level 3 stork and of course it spawns the things with triple stats as well and uh, it spawns it at level 3 so the level 3 stork could spawn like an eagle which could spawn another tier 6 and it can just kind of cycle from there you know could spawn like an orca just a whole bunch of endless summons just like the eagle I mean the stork is pretty much like a slightly worse eagle really because you're spawning a whole bunch of tier 5s instead of tier sixes and it's still a lot of fun uh and it's still pretty good it's not like the most op thing in the game but it's still a very solid unit i think and you don't really see it a ton all right so the things that are going to stick around i know are going to be the stork and probably the filled dragon because that's pretty much my biggest unit by far i'm getting four no just three no four four faint abilities so i'm getting plus eight plus eight from this filled dragon making it just like a 12 13 which is just so strong on these early rounds. And it's only level 2. Plus, Splash Attack usually does a lot of damage early on, and I'm pretty close to getting a level 3 uh, Stork. You can see kind of the weird spawns that it's going on, like, turns... whatever turn this is. Spawning those random, like, tier 3s. It could spawn, like, Badger. I mean, it spawned Rooster. That's a really interesting one. Um... What else could it spawn? Like, I guess a hippo? That would be cool. Spawn a level 3 hippo. And if it gets a kill, it would get plus 9, plus 9. Alright, so going for double stork. Got early vulture, so that really fits in well with this summon team. Pretty good squad, I would say, at the moment. I'm not, I like, level 3 snail, not what I was looking for. I do kind of do bad against camel, though. But... The Vulture Snipe saves me, and that's a solid draw. Actually had a perfect run going until that point, but I kind of uh, maybe started throwing by going for multiple <laughs> multiple Storks. Yeah, I would say Deer is probably better than Stork, but just because, you know, this is a YouTube run. I'm going for all the Storks possible. And Can's usually pretty good for summon builds, but... Since I'm actually not going to be replacing too many things, I don't know how useful it really is. In some of the runs, I tried to go with turkey. Oh, level 3 blobfish is interesting, because then it spawns a level 2, and then it spawns a honey bear. And that just gets a whole bunch of extra value off of this vulture. Holy. You can see, just the great RNG caused me to win that round. I'd love to see it. Alright, early tier 6. What's it going to be? Reindeer. Not really what I was looking for. More chocolate, that's always a good sign. And blobfish, all right. Hopefully I run into a pill. If not, can always just sell it. But it also gives just a extra plus two, plus two to the frilled dragon. 
I could also go for a level 2 Blobfish, get another tier 6, but probably not going to go for that. The Vulture, like, it falls off pretty quickly. I think already, like, 2 damage is practically nothing at this point. But since I have so many summons, I guess it does kind of add up. Uh, summon to Skunk. Interesting. Another win. Probably did cause me to win that round, really. Alright, so Chocolate the Stork, of course, of course. Look for those pills. Got one. Now can I get even better RNG and get one more pill? Also, I noticed that the game, when you pill something and it faints, the vulture, like, it acts like its ability is gonna go off, but then it does nothing. So, just a weird little in-game thing there. Alright, there we go. There's a level 3 rooster. Uh, unfortunately, it was at the front, so I didn't get all three spawns, but that's still pretty interesting. And then Crow is not gonna quite cut it. This team is fairly weak against Lemon, but, I mean, again, once we get to tier 6 here, we have the possibility of spawning, like, Lionfish. This is where things just get fun, because you can spawn so many different tier 5s here. And also, you unlock 1-ups, and 1-ups just means double the value. It's, uh, it's just so much fun. Okay, Tiger, Whale, uh, Stork, sure. Let's see what this ends up spawning. This could be kind of interesting. And then the one up on the other stork. Probably not a good idea, but I was worried about winning too fast. Uh, I wanted to throw a couple rounds potentially just so it lasts longer. There we go. It spawned an eagle, which spawned a mammoth. Get two things spawned there. Get two more. And that would have also been like a tiger uh, spinosaurus if the thing had a dine in one shot. But, you know, can't always get what you want. There's one more stork. Never enough. And... Unfortunately, so with Tiger Whale, I think it's usually more interesting to get like uh, the whale to level 3. That way the spawns have like triple stats. And why not? Fit one more in there. I could also probably freeze this one up for the last stork. Well, I just got a random follow. Okay, getting those offline follows while I'm recording, didn't even know. Looks like they have a level 3 white tiger, which is always fun to see, and gives them a level 3 rooster and a level 3 fly. But, level 3 rhino, 12 damage each is just beautiful. And then, also a level 3 uh, triceratops. Did I say spinosaurus before? I meant triceratops. Anyway, okay, so now I could get a level 2 whale, maybe, maybe not. Or, I could go for 4 storks. Or not, okay. I thought, honestly, I thought I was going to buy that. Instead, there we go. There's four storks. So pretty much five storks with the parrot. Just never enough storks. And then two of them are level three, and they both have one-ups. This could be the last round, or I could lose. Either way, I'm kind of okay with it. And it looks like a really strong team, right? But level three octo, level three lionfish replaces the melon armor. Get an eagle spawn, responds to uh, Piranha, and there we go. There's 10 wins. Just an RNG fest, but still a lot of fun for an RNG fest. It's pretty much, it's very similar to the eagle, but just a different unit. Anyway, thanks for watching. See ya.